Have you ever tried to debug a list of items in C-sharp? Scrolling through the list of items to find the right one can be tedious. Well, as of Visual Studio 17.2 though, we now have a much better way to visualize and export list data in the debugger. So for most of my training, I work to give an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need a quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. Here I have a console app. It's just a console app one app. It's really a, you know, a quick little thing that I created with a list of people. So I have this list of person model, which person model is uh, first name, last name, age, and is employee. That's all it is. I do have a constructor on here that um, that takes in those things to make it a little easier. That's what I've got here. So we're creating five records for this list of, of person model. Now, if we run this application, notice I have the breakpoint here, and I mouse over this people object, I can pull this down. I can see zero through four entries. And it says, okay, it's console app one dot person model, console app one dot person model. So which one is which? Well, I can mouse over one of these and drop it down. Okay, that one is Sue Storm. I'm sorry, it's a little small, but that one's Sue Storm, but I don't want that one. I can mouse back up and then go to three. And okay, that one is, is Bob Frank. Well, that's not a great visualization. It's, it's hard to figure out which one is which. And if you're trying to you know figure out which record is there, which one's not there, or which one might be malformed or things of that nature, that's not a great experience. But we now have, again, as of 17.2, which my installation currently is 17.6. So it's been here for a little bit right now. We can go to view up here. So you mouse over people, just go to view, click on this we now see a visualization. So this is for an I enumerable visualization, which means basically any list type in, uh, in .NET will be visible here. We first see the, the two string on the person model, which just says console app one dot person model. That's all a two string is. But we also see first name, last name, age, and is employed or is employee. So not only can we see these things, we can also sort them. So now they're sorted by first name, now they're sorted by last name, now they're sorted by age or is employee. But it gets even better. We can export it to a CSV or to Excel. Let's export it right to Excel. I'll wait for Excel to open up. I'll bring it up here and there we go. So now we have the person model column. We have the first name, we have the last name, we have the age and we have is employee. And again, you can manipulate that data any way you want. Right now it's not saved. It's just in temporary memory. So if we close this, it said, hey, do you want to save this? I say, no, I don't want to save it. But that allows us to export to Excel. It allows us to export to CSV. A really quick, nice little feature. But if you notice here, let's stop this. I have one more type here called person record. If you've dealt with records, they're really efficient. I really like them for a lot of use cases, not for every use case. We still use models for a lot, but a rather class models, but for a, a record, that's not going to change where we're just going to have the data and not change it. This is a really uh, great option. We, I have a whole video on records you can go check out, but I've got this record, which is why I created the constructor in person model to match this because I can use a record instead here. And I want to show the difference. So it's doing record, nothing else has to change because constructor still takes the same parameters. So now it's using a list of person record instead of person model. And if we were to run this and we go to people and go view list, we'll see that the person record has all the information in this first column. That's kind of the, the big deal difference with records is the two string, one of the big deals, the two string allows us to see all the data in that record. So just note that if you're viewing records, this first column looks a little different than if you're viewing classes. So, but the rest of the information, um, we also have the equality contract here, but then we have the rest of the data just like normal. So it's just gonna look a little bit different if you have a record versus a, a class, but otherwise all the data is viewable, all the data is sortable, all the data is exportable as well. So that's how to better visualize our 
our lists, our I enumerables, and so many other list type items inside of the Visual Studio Debugger. Okay, and again, that's available as of 17.2, which you should have by now if you're keeping your Visual Studio updated, because like I said, as of I think today or yesterday, 17.6 is out. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments how often you've used this, if you have used it, or if you haven't, um, if you think it'd be useful to you. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.